Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new to my channel, hello, welcome, I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, as always, welcome back. Today I'm here with a sneak peek unboxing that is from Diamond Art Club. This is one of their new releases this week and this kit along with the other new releases this week are going to come out tomorrow, which is Saturday, May 20th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Time, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. If you happen to be in the Ruby or Diamond tier of the rewards program, you do get a half an hour early access window beginning at 9 a.m. Pacific or 12 p.m. Eastern. Keep in mind though that sometimes those emails do go out early just to allow for delays. So that is the best way to stay up to date with that early release time, just FYI. The kit I have to share with you guys this week is the hauntingly beautiful Letting Go by Ana Morte, or Ana Mort. I need to double check on how she pronounces that. But this kit was really, really just drawing me in. I love, love, love this one. This one's gonna have square shaped diamonds and it's gonna be 20 by 26 inches or 50.8 by 66 centimeters. So not too big at all. Um, Diamond Art Club with their branding, they do use some blue branding here that goes with their square drill diamond painting kits. On the back, we have some info about how to diamond paint and some sparkly packaging. Uh, some info about the kit contents here. And then on the side at the bottom, you got a QR code that will take you to a 10% off coupon on your purchase. Now, if you are brand new to Diamond Art Club and thinking of making your first purchase, I actually have a 20% off discount code that you're welcome to use, but of course, certainly not obligated. But it's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. Like I said, that saves you 20% off your purchase, your first purchase. Um, don't feel obligated, like I said, though. I may make a small commission, but that always goes straight back into my channel. Um, and I'll just say, if you don't use that one, use some sort of discount code or rewards points or something. At this point, Diamond Art Club really makes it easy to save money when you when you make a purchase. So be sure to take advantage, take advantage in some way. <laughs> so Diamond Art Club is going to include a toolkit that has everything you need to your diamond painting. Here's the contents on the back if you're curious. And let's open it up. This is one of the newer versions of the toolkits. They do have some older kits on their website that may came with, come with an older version of the toolkit, but uh, they're pretty similar. This newer version just has a couple of upgrades and extras. So you're gonna get a pen and squishy. The color on those is gonna vary, and you're also going to get some of these thin plastic multi-placers if you'd like to try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a, at a time. I've actually got a guide for multi-placing, uh, a, a two-part guide that I'll link to in the description box if you're curious. You're also going to get some pink heart wax, which I have used this before and, and think it's a really nice quality. I do remind you always to peel back the plastic cover. Uh, there's a little thin plastic film rather on the top of the wax there that you wanna make sure you peel back before you try to load up your pen. You're also going to get a pair of tweezers. They're branded and my neighbor's dog. Quite pointy, so make sure you keep the cover on there. You're also going to have a white tray here that's gonna have a stopper on the end that'll help prevent diamonds from sliding out. And then we're also gonna get a bag of baggies if you wanna store leftover diamonds or even kit up in, into, you can do that. The two kind of highlights from these newer toolkits are these two elements here. So here we have what's called a cover minder. The style on these will vary quite a bit, but there's magnets on the back. You slide the one off and put it under the area of the canvas that you're working on, and then put the canvas down, peel back the plastic cover, and set that down on top. It'll hold back the plastic cover and look really cute for you too. You're also gonna get a roll of washi tape. The print will vary. It doesn't necessarily coordinate with the kit, um, but I like to use washi tape around the border of the drill field on my canvas because it covers up any glue, uh, sorry, covers up the glue so that any dust or dirt doesn't get stuck in there. I also use washi tape to section off my canvas to make it a little, I don't know, works better for my brain to work on. I'll link to a video that I've done all, all on how to use washi tape for sectioning and whatnot, in case you're curious. Diamond Art Club also includes this smaller sticker sheet. I like to use this in my paper logbook once I've started working on a kit. It has the original artwork and the artist's name and some stats. Some people will use this on the side of their box to help organize their stash, or you can even find something else crafty to do with it if you like. It's just a nice inclusion. Everything else is included in this branded bag dust cover. <laughs> so let's take a look. 
This is really stuck this time. <laughs> so the backing on Diamond Art Club's canvases, right away, you can just tell it's so, 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 so soft and so plush to the touch. Feels like they just continue to upgrade it as well. Let's take a look at this beautiful canvas. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wow, look at all those blues and grays and shades of black. That is gonna be a stunner of a canvas. Okay, so included in here, you're gonna have your diamonds. We'll take a look at those later. Look at those colors, oh my gosh. Definitely a particular color scheme. <laughs> You're gonna get this pamphlet that's gonna have some helpful info in it, including a thank you note from the founder on the front, some details about what's included in your kit, a beginner video if you're a beginner i actually have done one as well that i'll link in the description box lots of links in the description box go take a look here's a link to the vip facebook group which i think is a really handy resource and fun community so be sure be sure that you join that once you've made your first purchase and then some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you along with some tips and tricks on this page yet another discount code and then qr codes for the mobile app which it's nice if you if you like to use uh, apps with push notifications for restocks and sales and stuff like that. Diamond Art Club includes this larger sticker sheet as well. It has the title, Letting Go, the artist's name, a spot to write your start and end date, and a really nice look at that original artwork. You've also got some details down here about the diamond shape, which is square, and the size, and of course the skew. Over here, I want to point out that we do have some pre-cut labels. So you can take these different labels for each of these colors and put them onto, if you cut up into storage containers or into, into resealable baggies, putting labels on there I find is really helpful. It saves time and is very convenient as well. Uh, the DMC, or the color code that Diamond Art Club uses comes from the DMC color code, which is a brand of floss. And uh, it's it's pretty universal with most diamond painting companies, they use that. With Diamond Art Club's numbering system though, anything under the number 150 is going to be a special kind of diamond called an AB. Looks like we're gonna have two of those in this kit and I will tell you more about those when we're actually looking at the diamonds later. This kit in total is just gonna have 37 colors, which is not a ton, but if you look at kind of the color palette we're looking at in the original artwork, it, it seems like it wouldn't have a ton of colors, but I think that that really is still gonna have some beautiful, beautiful blending and color shading as well. Let's go on a little tour of the canvas. You might notice sometimes when you take your canvas out of the bag that it wants to maybe stay rolled up just a little bit like this. And Diamond Art Club's canvases, they are self-flattening. So if you leave them alone for a minute, they will lay flat on their own. But if you're impatient like me and you wanna move things along, they are safe to roll back the opposite direction, particularly if you don't try to shortcut it the way I just did. <laughs> Diamond Art Club uses poured glue on their canvases and the canvas material totally tolerates being rolled backwards like that. And there we go, we're laying flat. So uh, at the top of the canvas here in the middle, we have their branding, Do What Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. We have a legend or schematic up here at the top left with all the colors and the DMC code. We have the same schematic over here at the bottom right. At the bottom left, we have info about the kit itself, including a thumbnail, the title, the size. I'm always gonna point this part out, you guys, copyright, in a morte. So that means that the artist has both given permission for and is being compensated for the use of their artwork as a diamond painting by Diamond Art Club. Diamond Art Club legally licenses every single piece that they that they release. And there's lots of art theft out there, unfortunately, in the crafting world. So I'm always going to support and shout and shout out companies that are doing right by artists. Here we have their socials. Be sure to follow them there to stay up to date with new releases and, and announcements and whatnot. And then here's info about their lifetime warranty. As long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty. That includes if you happen to run out of diamonds or if there's any issues with the glue or the canvas, anything at all, contact their customer support and they'll get you taken care of. We're kind of looking at the folds of the subject's dress here, and then here's kind of the ocean. So I am seeing a nice mix of color blocking and confetti in this kit. So right here is a really, really perfect example of what we call confetti. Confetti is where you've got a lot of color changes in a small area. You'll mostly be single placing and changing that color in your tray out pretty often. Areas like this will take you a little bit longer because of that, but the payoff is that usually there's a lot more detail 
We do have some areas by contrast that I would say have some color blocking, like if you look here, the number seven, we have a, a section that's got quite a bit of that in a row. Let me find a better example, here we go. Down here, this number eight, we've got a bunch of this. This is what we call color blocking. Lots of the same symbol in a small area. You'll be able to use your multi-placer. You'll have that color in your tray for a bit longer. Areas like that tend to go faster, especially if you're a multi-placer. Here's the rendering on her face. Keep in mind that as we're up really close like this, it is gonna look more pixelated. We're gonna pull back and you'll see that rendering come into focus a lot more clearly. So this canvas does have a nice mix of color blocking and confetti, especially where these waves are breaking. Tons of confetti. I like to have a nice mix of confetti and color blocking in my canvases because uh, confetti keeps it interesting, but color blocking does keep it moving. And look, you guys, as we pulled back, the, the artwork really did come into better focus, and that gives you a little bit better sense of how to expect this artwork to appear once it's done. I love it. She is really, really hauntingly beautiful. Here's our bag of diamonds. Let's take a look. You are gonna have a sticker on there that tells you what kit these go with in case you store these separate from the canvas and outside the box they came in. Let's look. Okay, so there is our beautiful color spread of blacks and blues and a couple of some light glue, blues and grays in there. Let's take a closer look. So these are square diamonds, like I mentioned earlier. Diamond Art Club manufactures all of their diamonds in house. That gives them control over the quality of the diamonds. And here, real quick, one, two, three, four. Four bags of 939, which is a really, really dark blue. And then one, two bags of 823. One, two, three, four. Five bags of 310, which is a black diamond. And look at the sparkle on those, you guys super sparkly looks really 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 good uh diamond club square drills you guys they have been making upgrades to over time and recently well i mean it's been over a year at this point that they really made a big round of upgrades to make their their square diamonds even more faceted they used to all have 13 facets now they all have about 20. They actually had to re recently issue a correction because they had misspoken or there was a miscommunication at one point where they had said that their new square diamonds had 26 facets, but we just overcounted. <laughs> they actually have 20. Either way, you guys, they're very, 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 very faceted. You can kind of see, yeah, those are the new ones. Super shiny and sparkly. We have this last strand of drills here. Hopefully we're gonna see our two ABs in here. And sure enough, you guys, 101, there is our first AB. AB colors. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis. These are named after the Northern Lights. And just like the Northern Lights have a really pretty color shift and sparkly effect, so to the, do these diamonds. That extra iridescent coating on the top is going to make them stand out from the other diamonds, highlight the areas they've been charted, draw your eye to those areas. And yeah, that sparkle is going to be gorgeous. So I will be sure to show you where each of these two ABs are going to go. The second AB is just right here, 125. It's a beautiful pale mint, pale aqua AB. Really striking iridescent coating on the top that's reflecting a variety of colors. And then we have just every single shade of blue under the sun. It's going to be really really gorgeous we have some pretty lavenders and grays here some more purples kind of grayish <laughs> there yeah when you have a lot of colors that are similar in shade like these that typically means that you're gonna have some really striking really striking color blending so let's now take a look at where we're gonna find those two ab's they're lighter in color so i'm not shocked to see that there we aren't gonna have any down here i did not point out this would have been a really really good example of color blocking you can kind of see how the symbol is all the same down here but anyway let's look at where these ab's are gonna go do you guys see in the waves i see it in camp through the the camera lens here pretty clearly the sprinkling like there's a ton of just individual dots sprinkled all throughout where the waves are breaking and on this side as well it's a little harder to see up here but it's these just individual dots you see the number two the number two is going to be our lighter ab which is that pale aqua pale mint color 
So that's just really going to give the effect of how the water is, the, those water droplets are just sparkling, I guess, even in the moonlight, maybe the light of, of our lighthouse up there. Um, so that's that lighter AB, the darker blue AB, which wasn't too dark. It was just, let's see, it was this one. It was kind of a gray toned blue. My cat's sneezing. <laughs> uh, we've got that slightly darker grayish blue AB. Uh, it's sprinkled throughout the water as well, but not as obviously as the others. So it's one of these kind of middle bluish gray colors, the number one. Uh, so it's in the lighter areas of the water, but it's not the spray of water in the same way. We have it in here as well against that number one. So it's just going to give these waves a little bit more depth. I think that's really nice placement for these ABs. Again, when you see the number one sprinkled throughout there is that is that slightly darker grayish blue AB. There's a little bit here in between her arm and her dress. Look at that flower detail on her dress there it kind of comes into focus uh but yeah in a piece like this where really the art is very dark color wise it does make sense to me that the ab's are going to be pretty sparing and really deliberately placed we don't have any in her face we have a little bit here in the sky there's a little bit of that number one here at the top of the cloud and then oh right in the center the light of the lighthouse, the number two, that's the lighter AB. We have a little bit of the grayish blue AB right here as well. So I think that that AB placement is done really, really well. Diamond Art Club hand charts all of their canvases, all their kits. And so this was done, I'm sure, very, very, very intentionally. And I tend to be really, really happy with how they render their pieces, including their ABs. And I think they do it just really intentionally and beautifully. Um, even and maybe even especially in these darker pieces with the dark colors. The artwork itself, the subject matter isn't dark, but the colors are because we have all these blacks, dark, dark grays, dark, dark blues. Um, I love the AB placement. I think it's really beautifully done. And I cannot wait to see how that pale aqua, pale mint AB just really sprinkled throughout. I think it's going to suit this gorgeously, absolutely gorgeously. The rendering looks really good. I think that her face is done really well. And um, this, I think in general, could be a pretty good beginner intermediate kit. Um, there's lots of confetti in the water, so that's gonna take a little bit more time. Um, but I think that the end result is gonna be gorgeous. I love the umbrella over here. Oh my gosh. I just, I love the artwork. I should go look up what the story is behind it if the artist has, has shared any of that. But um, the size seems very manageable. Again, it's 50.8 by 66 centimeters. That's honestly one of my favorite size ranges to work in because it's not too large, but it's not so small that um, artwork like this won't won't be done justice, I suppose. This looks like a real beauty, you guys. <laughs> so uh, just to recap, this kit is called Letting Go and it's coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, May 20th, 9 30 a.m. Pacific, 12 30 p.m. Eastern is the general release time. Early access window begins half an hour before that, though occasionally the emails do go out a little bit early. They just try to account for delays with service providers and whatnot. So just set your alarms. Um, we don't know ahead of time, and, and they've st actually stopped marking kits as limited edition. So we don't really know necessarily if kits, once they sell out, if they're going to be back. So I highly recommend that if this kit's on your shopping list for the weekend, this absolute serene beauty of a kit, if it's on your shopping list for the weekend, uh, be sure to set your alarms so you don't miss out. I think that she may end up being pretty popular. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that this sneak peek unboxing was helpful for you and helped you make a decision about if this kit is one you want to try to get your hands on this weekend. Thanks to Diamond Art Club for sending this over, and um, I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing weekend. If you want to stay up to date with my future diamond painting content or check out my past videos, feel free to subscribe. There's a button just down here, and there's also a bell if you'd like to be notified when I do share new videos, which is usually a few times a week. I'd love to have you as part of my community here, but otherwise, I'm going to let you guys go. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section. Let me know if you're going to be trying to get your hands on this one this weekend. Um, but yeah, have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.